For the first time in their history, Brentford have secured promotion to the Premier League. Now, this wasn't easy at all for them. Since they finished third in the championship, they had to go through the grueling playoffs. But this time, they came out on top, beating Swansea in the final. Fun fact about Brentford, they have a national record of losing in the playoffs nine times. That's right, nine times they've tried and failed to secure promotion to the Premier League. But hey, this time they got it done. Now, I know what you're thinking, guys. Brentford have just secured promotion to the Premier League. Why do you even need to fix them? And I agree with you all, they're doing pretty well right now. But guys, there's still a long way to go. Champions League, Premier League titles. Our job is to make them the best team in the world. And that's what we're going to do in today's Fixing Brentford Challenge. Since Brentford did secure promotion in real life, we've gone ahead and directly put Brentford in the Premier League. So it's going to be a challenge to survive in the Premier League for the first few seasons. And if you guys do remember watching the last Fixing Challenge with Fulham, I just got sacked the last time we did one of these. So... That can't happen again. It's going to be a super fun challenge taking Brentford to the very top of English football. It's going to take a while, I think at least. Make sure you drop a like on the video as well. Subscribe if you are new around here. And also, Twitch is where I record these videos live. So go show some love over there by dropping a follow. And well, let's get things underway. Quick look at the rules of today's Brentford challenge. The objective, win the Champions League. We can make any transfers we want. We've got to simulate every single game. But of course, once we do get to that Champions League final, that's the game that we play to wrap up the challenge. To make things even harder, we're going to put ourselves through a difficult challenge, which is basically we're going to have to retain three players from this OG Brentford squad throughout the entirety of this series. Three players from here need to be in our starting 11 when we do get to that eventual Champions League final. So, could be Tony, could be Da Silva, Henry, who knows, but three of them need to be here. First season with Brentford begins now. And honestly, this team with the ratings, I don't think we're going to survive the Premier League. So, we'll need to make improvements. But we do have a few players we can keep until the very end, which we need to do for the challenge. I'm looking at Tony, Mbuemo, Da Silva, Rico Henry as well. But if we need to survive in the Premier League, it's going to be a big battle, guys. Good thing is, we've got about 27 million to spend, which is good. And thankfully, unlike the Fulham challenge, our objective is to avoid relegation and not stupidly to win the title. So, shouldn't be that bad. I don't want to get sacked again, guys. We got sacked with Fulham and that was painful. So, season one with Brentford begins now. Time to make some signings. Okay, so the good thing is, um, this time, Academy player Leo Long might actually be able to help us. 70 rated, insane potential. Promote him to the senior team, guys. And I don't know if I should loan him. I think he'll be a useful backup option for this season. So I think we'll keep him and hopefully we can retain him until the very end because he will count as one Bo uh, Brentford player for the challenge. So there's that. First signing of this Brentford challenge done. It's taken us so long. We've literally had to like simulate until the first couple of Premier League games to get a transfer done. But it's a big one, guys. Huge for the future of this series. Sandro Tonali for 20.9 million. Seems like a solid deal, guys. Wages are a bit much, but I think it's going to be worth it in long term. So, Tonali, first signing of this fixing challenge. Okay, we've just signed a keeper for the future in Van der Voort. One player I've surprisingly not signed in any of the fixing challenges. He's only 70 rated, but I know this guy's got unbelievable potential. So, he's definitely one for the future. Probably the keeper we'll have once we eventually and hopefully get to a Champions League final. So there you go. Solid signing for just about, what, 4.2 million. Just sorted out a signing on transfer deadline day in Joe Rodon. This has been one of the most difficult transfer windows I've endured. But hey, we've at least got a few good signings in. Joe Rodon, 4.4 million. There you go. Good signing. Okay, so we are done with, of course, the first transfer window. It's been a struggle, but hey, we've got Joe Rodon, we've got Van Der Voet, and of course, Tonali, probably the leader of this team right now. So let's see if all this is enough to survive in the Premier League. I don't really know, though. It's going to be a struggle, but we'll see. So far, it's, it's a bit of a struggle. Rock bottom. Rock bottom, guys. We got to take Brentford from here to the top of English football. I don't know how many seasons this is going to take, but not the best of starts, I guess. Guys, to survive in the Premier League, I, I think we need we need a better keeper, guys. We're bottom of the Prem right now. If we don't survive, um, this might happen to us. Of course, we get... Nah, Chad, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Huge, huge. This game is stupid, man. 
This game is stupid. How am I supposed to survive? So yeah, signing a keeper is the only way I think we'll continue this Brentford fixing challenge. So Handanovic has now joined us. So that's how our team is looking like. And yep, if you've noticed, we've switched to a five back to survive getting sacked because that's the only solution, I presume. So Handanovic has joined, our only signing from this window. Let's now sim until the end and hopefully I can get to keep my job. Otherwise, this controller is going right out of the window. Okay, guys, we survived the drop. Handanovic deserves a statue outside Brentford now. My God, four points as well. This has been the hardest start to a fixing challenge I've done. By the way, you guys should watch this on Twitch, guys, because the real drama happens over there. Links will be in the description, but we've survived the drop. First season, minus 35 goal difference. One of the worst in the league, but we've done it, guys. Next season, we'll still be in the Prem. A strong second half of the season for Ivan Toni, who's gone up by four ratings. Yo, next season's going to be big for us. 80 overall. Tonali gone up by four. I'll take that, definitely. And Buemo gone up by four. Good stats as well on most of them. Season two with Brentford. We've somehow survived the first season, but I think the second season is where things are going to get even more difficult. Good thing is we've got an 85 rated keeper. That's going to be big. We're just going to use Handanovic until Van der Voort becomes more OP, I guess. So there's that. But the team, we're moving back to a 4-3-3 at least for now. But depending on who we sign, we'll decide what formation we need to go with. But yeah, a lot of high-rated players we have this season, like Tony and Tonali. Mbuemo's looking good. Of course, Handanovic. Let's hope we can, you know, build from where we were last season and maybe do slightly better. 30 million is our transfer budget, so the objective is to finish mid-table. This is where things get tricky. Let's see what we can do. You won't believe it, guys. Sergio Aguero is available on a pre-contract. It's a no-brainer. You know, even if, guys, um, he's old or whatever, we can buy him and maybe sell him in the next window. And that's a big profit. You can't say no to that. Normally, you see players like Modric available for free. But Aguero, that's a bit rare, guys. Usually, he gets a new club. So, let's make it happen. Hey, that works. There you go. For 115000 per week, we've just signed Sergio Aguero. I think I'm going to have to change formation to accommodate him and Tony because there's no way I'm benching either one of them. We've signed our right back. After getting Aguero, time to, of course, boost our defense. 8.1 million. Jeremiah Frimpong, probably one of my favorite signings to make in these challenges because he's an absolute baller. Here we go. Top class signing. Just signed Guardiol, uh, Josco Guardiol for 18 million. Top class signing, guys, because... Wait a minute. Even I didn't know that. 90 sprint speed and 86 strength. What is this guy on? Yo, this, this is going to be incredible for us, I guess. Him and Joe Rodon at the back. I'll take it. What a backline we formed, guys. Top class signing for just about 18 million. Let's go. This has probably been the best possible window we could have had. Aguero on a free. We, of course, brought in Guardiol. Frimpong. The team's actually looking incredible, guys. We need a solid season, man. Let's make it happen. Situation has turned around massively, guys. Let's go. Ninth in the Prem. Positive goal difference. Those signings have worked wonders for us. Let's go, man. I'll take ninth this season. Progress, guys. Progress. Unfortunately, though, we don't really have funds to improve the team anymore. But since we're doing so well already, not too worried about it, guys. We're going to sim until the end and hopefully have a strong finish to the season. I'm not sure if 8th gets European football, but we're pretty close to getting it, guys. Solid season. 55 points. Big upgrade from last season. Come on. We keep getting better, guys, in this Brentford series. So season two has been a massive, massive success. Let's go. Okay, 11 was the most goals we scored coming from Mbuemo. Aguero scored 10. Tony kept up with him pretty well with 9. Leo Long with a solid season. It's time we make him a starter, I guess. Canos did okay. Jensen, pretty okay as well. Who's our top assister? Tony, good season for him, guys. Let's go. There you have it. Um... Yeah, solid season. Time for season three. Season three with Brentford begins. Finally, we're finding some progress with this Brentford side because our team is looking absolutely incredible. We've got great backup options as well. Things are definitely on the up. This season, we're going to have to take it a step further. Probably try and push for a Europa League spot. So that's what I'm hoping for. We might need to bring in a new keeper because Handanovic isn't looking all that good with the rating. Van de Voort has returned from a short loan spell. He's up to a 76, but is that enough to remain in the Prem? I don't think so. So there's that. Plus, uh, it's going to be tricky to improve the team, guys. We'll, we'll figure things out. The good thing is, guys, we've got 
about 45 million to spend. The board have decided to back us even more this season. Let's see what we can do. Signing Sergio Aguero for free was just a huge decision and it worked out wonders. Francesco Acerbi right now is available for free. Can't say no to that guy. It's like he's 82 rated. He'll be at, at like in worst case scenario, an amazing squad depth option. So let's make this happen. It's time to replace Handanovic and I've gone with Kalo Navas. And look at this, 89 rated guys. And we got him for 15 million. Absolute bargain. Now, now I get you guys. You have Van de Voort. Why sign Navas? Van de Voort is still only 76 rated. So what I'm thinking, guys, we loan out Van de Voort for another year. Let him grow in his overall. And until then, Kalo Navas can protect our goal. So that's the plan. Seems like a solid signing because 89 rated keeper. You guys know how important keepers are in simulations. So it's going to be worth it eventually. Okay, guys, something crazy has happened. 50.5 million for... And Aguero, who's 34 and dipping massively in his overall. I'm not even going to negotiate, just accepting it. This money could be huge and just completely, like, um, revolutionizing the team, I guess. So, signing Aguero for free has proven to be the signing of the series, guys. Because we're getting 50 million back for him. Unbelievable. They call me a pro trader, guys, because, wow, we've just made a 50 million profit on Sergio Aguero. I'm pretty sure we've just broken our transfer record signing. Yuri Tielemans from Leicester. His contract was expiring, and I couldn't say no. We got him for, like, 60 million, and guess what? He's worth 76, so an absolute bargain that Aguero money has done us a madness, guys. Absolutely. So on deadline day, we've made a bit of an emotional signing in Saeed Benarama. 18 million. He's, he's 27 in his prime. We know how good he was for Brentford, guys. So I've made it happen. He's going to be a big part of the team. And yeah, an emotional signing for all the Brentford fans. Still very good though. This is how we're going to have our team set up for the upcoming season, I guess. We're done with our transfers for now. Aguero gone, but, we, but Tony can still lead the line. We've got uh, Leo Long on the left. Embuemo. Benarama playing as a camp. T Elements, Tonali. What a midfield that is. Probably the best team we've had in this series. Let's finish high and get maybe a Europa League spot or who knows, even a Champions League spot. Okay, so it's kind of disappointing that we're pretty much at the same spot we were last season. But you know what? 14 goal difference, bit of improvements. Plus, we're still in the fight for a Champions League spot because we're only six points off Aston Villa, who are fourth somehow. Not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. Okay, guys, um, no more signings in this window. We don't really have the cash. We're just going to fire through until the end and see where we're at. Okay, so we wrap up season three with not much progress. To be fair, we're only like one point off a European spot. So that is a bummer. But still eighth. We didn't get sacked, which is a good thing. Next season, we'll push for more. Hopefully a Champions League spot. Ivan Tony stepped the hell up this season. 27. Embuemo with a good season as well. Solid 16. Tielemans, good signing, boys. Um, yeah. Season 4 with Brentford begins. We finished 8th in our last two seasons in the Prem, but with this team, I think it's time we take it to the next level. I'm feeling, guys, a centre-back signing and we'll be pretty sorted for the coming season. So that's probably what I'm going to be looking at, guys. Centre-back signing with about 57 million... Yeah, we'll, we'll get things sorted, guys. So, big transfer window ahead of us in Season 4. we got to get Champions League football this season. Like, Season 4, no Champions League experience. That is dreadful. That needs to happen this season. Marcus Alonso was available for free. I know he's only 79 rated, but for free, for about 60,000 in wages, I couldn't say no. Rico Henry is still going to be our first choice left back, but having that squad depth, I think it's going to be vital, so we've picked him up for free. Okay, so we've just made a superstar signing, one of the highest rated players now in our team, along with the elements. It's Presnel Kimpembe. There you go, Maestro Kimpembe has just signed for Brentford. We got him for a really cheap deal, 55 million. He's worth 66, 87 rated. The stats are looking insane on him. Top last signing, guys. And now I think we're ready to make it to the Premier League. Oh, not the Premier League, but already in the Prem. The Champions League next season. Season 4... Pressure's on, guys. We've got to deliver with the players we've got. So, guys, we're having a bit of problem with contracts. Players not wanting to renew. And that's why we're forced to sell Joe Rodon. And we might have to sell a few more. So, few problems all around the team. But we're going to have to find a way through it. Guys, we've just made a loan deal for Ahmad Diallo Traore. He's only on a one-year loan deal, guys. Nothing more than that. But we need squad depth. And he provides just that. Okay, it's very good that he's 78 rated. He'll go right on our bench, guys. That's that's a solid signing. Okay, guys, we were legit forced to sell uh, Josco Guardiol. He wanted to leave the club. 
not renewing a deal. It's a shame we couldn't see him at max potential, but at least we got 30 million for him. Another top tier signing to replace Guardiola and it's Lacroix, the Frenchman. He was playing at West Brom. Only 81 rated, but he's 23. Potentials there. Stats are looking crazy. And he's right for it. So he'll partner up with Kimpembe really well. It's been a wild transfer window, man. A lot happening. But hey, we've managed to, of course, sort out the team fairly well. And that's that, guys. Um, transfers done for season four's first window. And we've switched formation as well. I feel like this is the best way to get the best out of this team. And... Yep, that's what we're going to rock. Every player in the first 11 is above the overall of 80. It's just where our, you know, squad depth holding us back a bit. But apart from that, we're looking solid, guys. We're going to rock this and let's see where we're at in January. Well, guys, not surprised. Diallo is gone. This is so stupid. Loaning in players and simulating just doesn't help, guys. Fair enough, I guess. Good thing is we've managed to top our Europa League group. And I know you're wondering, how did we finish 8th and make it to the Europa League? I, I, I don't know as well, but we're here. We topped our group. Round of 32, it's up against Wolfsburg. Difficult draw, but we'll see. Okay, I don't like the fact that we're sixth in the Premier League, guys. Honestly, by the looks of things, it feels like um, the Europa League might be the easiest way to get into the Champions League. But hey, we'll see. 36 points. We're only four off Aston Villa, and I'm just hoping they'll start dropping points. But Liverpool right now flying. Okay, guys, we're not in a very good spot in January. We spent all our money in Kimpembe and Lacroix, I guess. So... This window, no signings. We're straight away going to fire until the end of the season. We got knocked out by Wolfsburg on away goals. That is just painful, man. Cup final against Bournemouth. We've managed to make it to the Carabao Cup final. First trophy, guys. That'd be nice. And I'm sure the board would appreciate that. So, please, man. It's Bournemouth. we got to win this with the team we've got. And what a relief. We've just beaten Bournemouth in the cup final. We've won a trophy with Brentford, the Carabao Cup, and it's good to see Tony be the man to score the winning goal. Three seasons in a row finishing like terribly in the Prem. Two seasons, actually. I'm not entirely sure. Season four and it's eighth where we're at. But at least this season, guys, a bit of silverware. We won the Carabao Cup, so there's progress with that. But yeah, otherwise, Europa League getting knocked out early. Hmm. Hopefully season 5 will be better. As usual though, Ivan Tony stepped up again. 30 goals this season. Embuemo did really well as well. Going up by 4 ratings, that's big. Uh, Leo Long had a good season. Tielemans as well. Season 5 now begins with Brentford. I mean, the starting 11 looks incredible. Apart from maybe that cam spot. And you guessed it, that's where we're looking to make improvements in Season 5. I mean, it's got to be time to get Champions League football, man. we got to improve squad depth because our squad is extremely tiny right now and that needs to change. Another player available for free, Toby Altobidel. Can't say no to an 82-rated player. That's going to be a great backup option. Let's get it done. We've just made one of our biggest signings in Jack Grealish. It's time to get someone better in that camp spot. As good as Ben Rama is... Jack Grealish is even better for 52 million for the next four years. Grealish is going to be a part of the Brentford team. Stats are looking incredible. We've already converted him to a cam. We're ready, guys. We're ready. As you guys know, we're struggling for squad depth. I've just loaned in Liam Delap, former Manchester City talent and now playing for Barcelona. He's 78 rated, so good pickup. We've just made another signing from Liverpool. Um, I don't want to try and pronounce his name. Uh, Konstantinos uh, Chimikas. Hopefully I said that right. Fullback, 81 rated in his prime. Squad depth, he's key for that. So, good signing, I think. So, there you go. We've completed our signings for this window. It's a struggle, man. Our squad depth is looking very shaky. But I think our first team is capable of doing business. So, let's see what happens this season, guys. Um, yeah, let's sim until January and see where we are. We're once again in the Europa League, by the way. Honestly, guys, we're so close. But so far as well, it's because of our squad depth, I feel. We're struggling, man. We're a couple of points off Wolves, three points clear of Leicester. If Wolves can have a tough second half of the season, we might just make it to the Champions League next season, man. Ah, come on. Fifth is at least progress from last season and the seasons before, so I guess we take it and move. We've again topped our Europa League group unbeaten this time, and it's Lazio we're facing. We're getting difficult draws, man, in the Europa League. Okay, guys, once again in a weird spot where we really can't make any transfers. We've got no money. We're just going to have to rock with this team until the end of the season and let's see how things go. Finally, guys, in our fifth season, we get Champions League football. The grind has been legit. But finally, season six will be in the Champions League for the first time. It's been such a struggle, this fixing challenge. But we're there, guys. We're there. It's going to be emotional being there. But it's not just all. 
we have managed to reach the Europa League finals. Semi-finals, we got the better of Leverkusen. Quarter-finals, we got the better of Club Bruges. Round of 16, who was it? Who was it? Lyon. And then Lazio, 6-1. Unreal, man. Chance to win the, the, the Europa League. Let's do it. Simming this one against Monaco. Let's bag that Europa League. Come on. 5-1. Oh, my God. Hey. Let's go. Insane. There you go. Europa League has been bagged. Come on, boys. M. Buemo, top scorer with 30. Tony kind of, yeah, he's slowing down a bit, but M. Buemo showing no signs of slowing down. Tielemans with a unbelievable season. Um, Leo Long doing well. Very, very well. Grealish again, proving why we signed him. Solid, guys. Season 6 we're moving on to and we'll be in the Champions League. Season 6, Champions League. Here we come. Can we win it? Honestly, if we get a better keeper... I think we're definitely capable of putting up a challenge. It all depends on the draw. So we'll see how things go. Um, we've also completed the signing of Liam Delap for about 23 million on a permanent deal. Great stats. We need a backup striker. Why not just get him for a cheap price? So that's sorted. Big signings coming ahead because look at this, guys. We've got 160 million now to spend. Big season ahead. Huge, huge season ahead. Okay, so we've just signed Mike Mainan or Mainan, whatever, guys. Um, for only like 45 million or so. He's 29, I know, but he's 87 rated. Gives us that rating for a long time. Solid signing. Replaces Kaylor Navas. So there you go. Big, big signing for season six. Just sorted out one of the biggest signings I think we will ever make. Diot Upamecano for 80 million pounds. He's worth 100 mil, chat. So we got him for like an incredible deal. 90 rated. What a center back to have, I guess. I mean... Our team is now looking stacked. I'd be surprised if we don't go far in the Champions League this season. Winning it is a different thing, but we've got we've got a team capable of it. Guys, you won't believe the madness that's just happened. Offer came in from PSG for Grealish. Over 100 mil. I couldn't say no because he's 29. He gave us a good season. It's now time to replace him, I guess, but it's been a crazy video altogether. And this makes it even more crazier. Normally, I don't sell the players I buy, but hey... We've taken the money and let's improve our team with it. Literally for the same exact price that we sold Grealish for, we've managed to sign Mason Mount, who is one overall higher rated and is three years younger. It's all I see is a dub here. 88 rated Mason Mount has just signed for Brentford, quite possibly the most talented English footballer right now. And there you go. We've managed to sign him for Brentford. Let's go. Here we go. We've got a final. It's the UEFA Super Cup final. Europa League winners Brentford up against Champions League winner City. Okay, now. Let's see if we can beat Man City in the final. And we can. That's the Super Cup done. If we can beat the Champions League winners of last season, surely we can win the Champions League this season. Okay. So I guess we're done with this transfer window, guys. Um, Mason Mount, Upamecano, Mainan. It was a crazy-ass window, guys. And let's now just sim until January. See how we do in the Champions League. And, of course, in the Prem as well. Okay, guys. At least we somehow survived our Champions League group, finishing second. Round of 16 against Inter. It's going to be tough, man. Two legs against them. Premier League, it's been chaos for us so far as we're seventh. How are Brighton above us? Leeds as well. It's not over yet, though, because the Premier League's really upside down. And I think we can make a comeback in the second half of the season. With Lacroix being unhappy, kind of expected since Upamecano is now in the team. We were forced to sell him, guys. So I guess with all that money, we'll be using to improve our overall squad. Some depth in the fullback position as Pembele has been signed. The man looks like he's 40, man. What the hell is that player face? Anyways, just signed him. 80 rated, 23. Good signing. Another good signing for 31 million, James Garner. We've kind of lacked depth in that midfield department, so he helps us in that department. 81 rated, only 24. Good signing. Okay, so that's the window done. We're not looking too good in the Prem, guys. And Champions League against Inter, don't know what to expect, so... Let's just see how we wrap up the season. First leg against Inter. Their team is looking insane. But to be fair, ratings-wise, our team has got so many 90-rated players. And that's a big win. We give them the away goal, which is a real shame. Let's see what happens in the second leg. Away leg against Inter. We've got to survive this, guys. Please, please, please get the job done, guys. M. Buemo with the goal. Quarterfinals, I'll take it. I've got to say, among all the other teams involved in the Champions League, we've gotten really lucky with the draw. Leipzig, 
I think we can take that. Please, EA and the simulation gods, get me past RP Leipzig. I'm praying. I am on my knees. A two-all draw with them getting two away goals. I want to cry. I think it's over. I really think it's over. This is going to be painful. Second leg, everything relies on it. Please, just one nil. A one nil win. A one nil win is what we get, guys. Semi-finals of the Champions League. Oh my god. The stress. Couldn't have been Leo. I would have loved Leo in the semi-finals. But of course, it's Barcelona. The dream could be over. Let's see. Okay, Barca are using a pretty weird formation, which might help us. And they've got Maguire. But please, guys. EA, please let me knock Barca. Nah, dude, it's a 1-0 win for them. Nah. I will genuinely cry tears of joy if we can somehow make a comeback. But the hopes aren't there all that much. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. On away goals, I think we've done it. I'm pretty sure we've done it. Brentford 2-1 at the camp. Now Barcelona have choked, guys. I cannot believe the scenes. The scenes. The absolute scenes. Tony with a brace. This guy, Tony, man. He scored in almost all the cup finals and now he's brought us to a Champions League final. Yo, this is mental. Let's go, boys. Come on. So it is Manchester City who we're facing in the finals of the Champions League. Okay. Guys, it's everything to play for in that Champions League final. Because if we lose, we're going to have to do two more seasons minimum. Yeah, so because we finished fifth in the Prem. It is everything to play for against the champions of England. Like, we need to win that game no matter what. Champions League final against City. Everything on the line here. That's the team we're rocking. Tony up top. Mount. Leo Long. He actually didn't crib at all about his contract throughout the entire challenge. That's the first for the academy player. M. Buemo. We've got 390 rated players. 4, 5, 6 actually. Our team is as good as Man City, guys. We've got to get it done. You guys ready for this? Champions League final. We lose this game. We're going to have to do minimum two more seasons. We can't allow that to happen. Six seasons in. Brentford could be crowned champions of Europe. Let's finish our job. Oh, no, 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 no. No messing up here. No messing up. No conceding first. Gabriel Jesus. Block the shot. Block the shot. Kimpembe. That is much better. Oh, look at the pressure from Man City, guys. This is crazy. You read the elements. Oh, Mount's made the run. Can he get there? Mason Mount can't get the shot. Ruben Diaz keeping City in it. Mason Mount. I'm seeing Tony make that run. We know he's got the pace. No, I, I pressed that to do the sprint boost. Not flick it up. I may have accidentally pressed the R3 button. I'm such an idiot, guys. We would have gone through and scored with Tony there. Good pass for Yuri Tielemans. Leo Long from the academy shoots and that's a big save against Edison. What a save from him. Big yikes, big yikes. Leo Long going for goal there. It was going in, it was going bottom left corner. Good save. Oh, that's big from Frimpong. That is huge from Frimpong. Looks for Tony. I literally pressed the shoot button to go for a volley. Instead, he scooped it up. Nah, the game doesn't want us to win, guys. The game doesn't want us to win. How did that really happen there? Mason Mount gets taken down by Ben Godfrey. 40 minutes in. Still nil-nil. I think we've had the better chances, guys. But nothing to show for it. No, 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 no. I, I mistimed it. I, I, I messed up. Ferran Torres down the wings here. We've got to block the cross. Tonali has put in a shift at a half tonight. Superb in that CDM role. But now a corner for Manchester City. No, no, no. I can feel it coming. My nan managed to punch it away. Thank God for that. Half time, guys. This has been very stressful. The fact that if we lose this, we're going to have to do two more seasons minimum is scary. So, yeah, we've got to get it done now. Tony looking for Mason Mount. Can he mug off Manchester City once again? Mason Mount inside. No way. Edison can't be saving that. That's illegal. Mason Mount. Finesse shot from there. Dude, this is just stupid. He's literally blocking me there. What am I supposed to do? Sane, cut back. That is as crucial as a challenge would get from Tonali, guys. No way, no way, Ferran Torres. Please stop. Please stop, dude. Tonali has been man of the match, guys. Absolutely the best player on the pitch by far. Make that run, Tony. Make that run, Tony. This is your chance. This is your chance. I'm looking for that cross. That was a mistake. That was an absolute mistake. Yo, Tonali winning everything. Mount. Tony. Back for Mason Mount. Cleverly done to find Mbuemo. This is it. Mbuemo inside for Tielemans. What happened there if Tielemans only went down? 
We would have gotten a penalty. We've been robbed, guys. We've legit been robbed. We've literally had all the chances in the world and we couldn't do it. 90 minutes done. We're now going to extra time. 30 minutes more. If we can't do it, it's going to be pens. Make runs, lads. Please make the runs. T elements driving it forward. Looks for Mason Mount. Why is he so slow? Tony, has he kept himself on? I think he has. He's kept himself on. It is, of course, Tony in a Champions League final. Brentford won. The celebrations, the scenes. We've done it, guys. Oh, the relief. Honestly, it had to be Tony. And don't tell me it was Mason Mount who played that pass in. Just like in real life. Oh my god, Tony. The man, the myth, the legend has just done it. We had to use three OG Brentford players. We used three Mbuemo, Tony, and Rico Henry. And look, it's paid off. Tony is the man to score. Somehow sliding that one. I see a man far post. Leo Long. Oh, what a header. No way. I think it's an own goal. Mbuemo's claiming it. It's 100% an own goal. As if things can't get worse for City. Literally an own goal. Hey, let's go, guys. Come on, I'll take it. I need a replay on this. I need a replay on this, guys. I need a replay on this. Let's go, it's done. We've won the Champions League with Brentford. What a struggle. Six seasons of pain. But we've done it. We've done it. With Brentford, we've taken them to the top of Europe. Not just that. Europa League. Champions League. I think it was a bigger struggle. Bigger struggle than what Sheffield was, if I'm being honest. But yes, yeah, so much on the line in that final game. But hey, we, we got it done. We really got it done. And with that, that's the challenge complete with Brentford. We fixed them, I guess, in a way of like elevating their level. And that's it for the challenge. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know what team we should fix next week. And well, I'll catch you guys next time.